What is that? And this? A KFC Pizza Hut hybrid <gasps> in Nepal. Wow, we're in Nepal. Guys, Nepal doesn't have that much fast food. And by not much, this is literally it. They just have KFC and Pizza Hut. They don't have McDonald's, they don't have Burger King, they don't have Wendy's, they don't have Subway, they don't have like any of the American fast foods we're used to, so we have to try the ones they do have. Because how can we not, how, how can we live if we don't have fast food? We're what? American, our bloods run on fast food. What would we do without grease? We could just go to Hard Rock Cafe, Kathmandu, sir. Or we could go to KFC, which one did you choose? Let's go. Okay, let me get on the menu. We're gonna try to see if they have anything different. They have a whole bucket of, I thought I just saw a whole bucket of popcorn chicken. They do. Wow, that's impressive. They have Smoky Rod, which they had in India as yeah. well. The Zingers, which was also India. Okay, very similar to Chicken India. Longer Burger. They had that in India too. Chicken Rolls, they had in India, the double chicken roll. Did they have, or were these all the same? Did they have the Supreme Double Chicken I don't know, roll? I think they only had like two rolls. Some the rice, rice meals. Did they have, they had this one in India, right? Yeah, I don't know if this is a different type of rice. A lot of drinks. Oh, fries? We could just order, should we just order a bunch of these? 20 cheese slices with two things of mayo. Mayo dip? Oh. Oh, that's it. That's it. Wow. So it's like India. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting. So, Nepal KFC is India KFC. Is there anything to get? A supreme double chicken roll? Bracket. I guess this will give us more room for Pizza Hut. And we gotta get a lot at Pizza Hut. Oh yeah. Nepal KFC just confirmed it's the greatest KFC nationality of all time. And this is why. The search. The 11 secret herbs and spices. The world was at the mercy of dry, tasteless chicken. Colonel Harlan Sanders, Sanders, Sanders knew his time had come. Only he had the power to end the tyranny of bland tasting chicken. Only he knew the secret that would unlock new frontiers of taste. It wasn't one secret. It was 11 secrets in one. And so he began a never taken before journey. You just go left or right? Or I don't know here. how comics work. He clashed with a sea monster of old to find the lost island of Chicken Lantis and recover a magical spice. A hand-to-hand -hand combat with an alien army led him to another rare herb. At light speed, the good Colonel soared beyond planet Chick 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 Chickerator Chick to, to dig up an out-of-the-world spice. Into deep, dark places, he charged, fighting the ancient dragon of doom for the final herb. And that's how he found them. The mysterious 11 secret herbs and spices that made the world's juiciest, crunchiest chicken. Or so we were told. We'll never really know, because it's, um, a secret. Thank you, Justin Bieber, for ruining this epicness. Now we're gonna have to cut this multiple times because we don't want copyright. Dang, nabbit, Justin. All right, this is our food today, fam. Look at this rice. Isn't that sick? It's rice. At KFC. <laughs> And a supreme chicken roll. They didn't have supreme in India, I don't think. I don't think. We just got a normal chicken roll. Wow, that smells like Uncle Ben's rice. It does. Let's. All right, I'll just dig it right into the rice right away. Oh. Oh, it's. Biryani. It's the same. It's just called something different. Dang. So Nepal KFC is India KFC, guys. Yep, the same as India. Which, to those of you who have not watched the India, it's delicious rice. It's like biryani, spicy, aromatic herbed up, but not secret spices and herbs. If you want to see what we think of KFC in Nepal, you got to go watch the India version, the fast food haul, you know? <laughs> chicken roll. On Google, this was, there was a picture of this on the reviews and it said horrible chicken roll. I hope that's not accurate. It looks like a chicken roll right now. It smells spicy. Look at that, like lavish on the outside. Aren't you impressed? Or all bread. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't get a single thing other than bread. Now this is gonna take a while. Thank you, Justin. This KFC, look around this KFC. This is so nice. All the KFCs in the US are like junkers. They're like super old. Why do US chains that leave the US make them always way nicer outside of the US? Because they know Americans are fat and they'll eat it either way. McDonald's is like the most popular restaurant in the US and it's really hoovers now. McDonald's sucks and it's, it's awesome. expensive. Or I need to cut down on some of the bread. 
Okay, now I might be able to get a real wife. Now you might be able to get a chicken in the roll, not just a roll. Hopefully. Is it a horrible chicken roll? The bread is so hard to chew. It's really thick. I actually really like that. It's spicy. The chicken is... The chicken is tasty. The bread is thick and hard to chew, but it is pretty nice flavor. And then it has some like onions and spicy sauce in there and stuff. That's not a horrible chicken roll. That's a good chicken roll. Thanks, KFC. Now it's time for Pizza Hut. We're going to Pizza Hut? Sick. We're gonna fill ourselves to the brim at Pizza Hut, so be ready. Wowzers, look at that design. Oh, I'm scared. Guys, I just had to get a different drink because I wanted to try different things here. And this is uh, for Akin Jamuntini. It's a fresh blast of Jamun with a hint of refreshing mint. What the heck's Jamun? I don't know. We know what Gulab Jamun is, but I don't know what Jamun is. What if it's just the syrup of the Gulab Jamun? The thing I'm scared about is spices. We got a drink in Popeyes in India and it had spices. And that was not very good. No, it was not. Mix it up. Oh no. Is it masala? It's kind of like tingly, it really hits you. It's a bit spicy, like almost salty. Yeah. But it's better than the other one. It's, really? It's still got a sweetness. Oh, I still don't like it very much though. Dang, nab it. Hmm. You're not a fan of the Jamun? It's okay. I would give it like a 3.9 out of 10. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> Dang, nab it, Jamun. I'll do it right now. Are you ready? Have you ever done a Sudoku? In yourself? Pizza Hut with a butter knife? Yes. Last week. Uh, my drink is very nice. It's a Belgian chocolate Lighter? shake. No. no. It's actually the the palm in Dubai. Oh, oh lots of rich people live there. And then the most expensive places are out on the edge of the palm. <laughs> You guys know that chocolate, like Belgium is known for chocolate, but I've never had Belgian chocolate from Belgium before. How does one do that? I've never been to Belgium. Me neither. Oh. Never, never been to the thing. I've been to countries around Belgium, but never to Belgium. I'm gonna try it. All you need is a love. And this is the thumbnail of the video. I'll be like a TikToker. TikTok. That is so strong. I remember I got Belgian chocolate, hot chocolate, I think once, and it was super, super rich. This Belgian chocolate shake is also super, super rich. It's good, but I think I will get sick of it by the end of it. I just destroyed her beautiful palm. All of those people are dead. <laughs> All right, this is another TikTok. POV when a bang when a banging song is playing in Pizza Hut in Kathmandu in Nepal in the Himalayas. When POV when you're supposed to you know, when you're about to get some masala kima garlic bread. Whoa! Did the lighting just get better? You know what they say: believe in the power of pizza. Who says that? A pan? What are you about to munch on there, sir? Can you guess what we got right here? Probably because I just said it earlier. Kima chicken cheese bread. Chicken yes. kima cheese bread, masala cheese bread. If you're not from South Asia and you don't know what that is, it's basically just diced up chicken with Indian spices on it or South Asian spices on it on top of cheesy garlic bread. Sounds like it couldn't be bad, right? We got very discular frisbee style going here, so you ready to catch? Fly it into my mouth, please. Whoa! Oh, our pizza's here. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Those are small. No. It seems like they just shoved stuff on top of it. Stuff crusting of a pizza that small doesn't leave much pizza left. That is very interesting. They look pretty good though. Pepperoni is questionable. Chicken pepperoni, I think. 
<sighs> Where's my pork? Nom nom nom. Nice crunch. Mm, the cheese is sweet. Oh wow. Initially, all I tasted was sweet cheese the whole time. Here. And then the Indian flavors came in hardcore. The spices. That is so unique. Even though I expected it, I should have anticipated it more because I was still not prepared for that. It is really dang tasty, but so miles different than just cheese bread. Like, I wouldn't classify this as cheese bread at all. It almost looks like one of those Turkish breads. It kind of tastes a little bit like The Indian it. ver? The Indian ver of the Turkish breads. The cheese pull is a bit weak on that. So this is the American cheesy... Cheese. Some... Cheesy cheese. Cheesy Pizza. cheese. So it's got some chicken pepperoni, some sausages of sorts, possibly of the chicken variety as well. And then lots of cheese, and we stuffed it with cheese as well. Why not? Crust. Why not? Piping hot. I will die on this pipe. Oh no, I can't even hold it. The more burning, the merrier, dude. No, no, no! Mm. Oh wow, that's cheesy. Mm. Okay. Do you feel merrier? That's delicious. The cheese, ooh, the cheese tastes really, really good. The bread, nice and soft, it's a bit doughy. And then I got like some saltiness from the little chicken bite I got. And then it's got just a piece of like jalapeno or something in there. So a little bit of spice. And now for the crust, which is about 50% of the pizza. Mm, very melty right now. Oh yeah. Mm. Do you feel like you're in America? It's a little, it's different. It's the crust is pretty crunchy. But it's the American pizza. Oh, hell. That's delicious. That's, I would give that like an 8.6. Because it's American. <laughs> Forgive, but never forget. I don't even want pizza. I just want to dance to these remixes. All right, guys, this is the weirdest pizza we got. I don't even remember what it's called. Makani something. Kima Makani pizza? Oh, it's not fully cut. It's not just about the pizza, it's about the crust because the crust is stuffed with kebab. Frackin' kebab, dude. It's got kebab, it's got peppers, it's got onions, it's got some sort of chicken thing on top of it. And look at, I just lost some of my dang chicken in there. I gotta reinsert this onto my pizza here. Hold on, hold on. Reinserting. Reinserting, there we go. Um, reinserting. There you go. Let me chocify quick. Uh, this thing is pretty thick for how small it is. I could almost eat this with a fork. It's not gonna lift. Oh my gosh. It's too heavy. I have to do the most illegal thing in America and in India and Nepal because you guys eat everything with your hands. But I gotta eat it with this. Oh man. Wow, that thing is massive. Oh, look at the sauce. It's orange. Oh. Yeah, so this, it was some sauce. What was the sauce? It was a butter or something butter sauce. Oh yeah, it was something very interesting. I don't know, it was supposed to be spicy too. It so looks like an egg yolk. I hope it's not. It should be spicy. Whoa, whoa, that is so interesting. It tastes like a pizza and a, like an Indian curry at the same time. That is so weird. It's like literally a curry sauce on this thing. And then there's just random little hints of chicken and pepper and what the heck? Spicy at all? Small mom. Just a little. It is interesting that they weren't labeled as spicy at all, but mine had this one had jalapenos and yours has spice to it still. It's good. I honestly like that. I like the taste of this chicken that's on top. I'm trying to pinpoint it. It tastes so much like some sort of Indian chicken that I've gotten recently. It tastes so much like it and it's tasty. Mm. And then the sauce is like buttery, which kind of gives it that like butter chicken similarity and a bit spicy, which is cool. Let's chunk open this fracker. Uh, I wasn't expecting the kebab to be white. Looks like a sausage. Did they lie to us? Kebab? More like kanat. <laughs> More like kaboop. More like sausage roll. It's about a sausage roll. British people, is this sausage roll? Am I eating a sausage roll finally? Gordon oh. Ramsay, please answer. Gordon? 
whoa, that's weird. Not a sausage. The flavor of it didn't come in at all until the end. Like it took a while for it to finally taste like something. That's kind of what happened with the garlic bread. It's all uh, came up with garlic bread. But it's also stuffed with some sort of like mayo inside of the kebab or around the kebab, I should say. That is very interesting. It's good, but it's not as good as stuffed crust. I'm guessing that one is much better crust. It's very interesting. Whoa, you ate it all. Oh. You ate it all. Oh, yeah. I made up my mind. I don't like the sausage crust, and I'm not very fond of the other pizza now. Yeah, I didn't think, I don't like really any of it much anymore. After I ate one piece, I was just like, uh, I'm not hungry anymore. Yeah, so um, I guess we're not a fan of the Nepali uh, exclusive Pizza Hut items. But it was a cool experience. I'm glad we tried it. Cause you know, all you need is love. And all, all you need is to subscribe. Subscribe right now? Make sure to subscribe. Otherwise I'll Sudoku myself. Don't do it. No. Um. No, don't, don't. You just. Oh, you subscribed. Thank, Thank you. You, <laughs> you unsubscribe? <laughs> well guys, uh, Pizza Hut ended up being our most expensive meal the entire time we've been in Nepal. By far. Before oh, that gosh. it was like 18? Yeah, yeah, the, uh, And uh, that was 2,900. The Thakali yeah. place was 18. Yeah. So, that was 1,100 more for food that was not nearly as good. So, moral of the story, it makes sense kind of why there isn't much fast food here, because <laughs> the food in Nepal is so delicious. And cheap. So, why the heck would you need to go to Pizza Hut? You know, the Pizza Hut, they actually, like, crust and the cheese and the stuffed crust is actually pretty good so if we would have got like maybe a normal pizza that we usually like like a pepperoni pizza or something even though actually they wouldn't have pepperoni pizza they'd have chicken pepperoni pizza but uh if we would have got probably a less crazy flavor for us it probably would have been better let's just say that but overall pretty solid pretty solid so fast food in nepal hello so Fast food in Nepal, there isn't much, but what you can get is pretty good, especially if you like weird pizza flavors. If you like Indian flavors and you like pizza, this is your place to go. And if you like Indian KFC, that is also your place to go, because that was pretty dang good. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different than all the other ones we've been making so far here in Nepal, but sometimes we like to mix it up and we like to try the American fast food in different countries. Every time we go to a new country, we gotta try it because what is gonna make it different? So is this like Club Street right here? I guess. Club and Casino Street, you can smell the cigarette smoke. Oh, you betcha. Uh, but yeah, anyways, thank you for watching this epic different video. <laughs> Kenny Rogers in Nepal? They got the fracking Kenny Rogers Roosters. Are you kidding me? We went to Frank and KFC and we could have went to old Kenny. Kenny Raggy's Roosters. What are you doing there, sir? Hey guys, ow, that kind of hurt. <laughs> Alright guys, we got some Nepali Coke here. Uh, it's interesting because this is the smallest cap I've ever seen on a bottle like ever that's this size. And it's really chunker at the bottom, so you know. What the heck? And yeah, let's try it. And it's officially from Nepal. It says from Nepal. So they have their own Coke factory here. It's also really easy to open. Blow test. What does that do? Mm. You can really get the feel the carbonation and the mm. air bubbles. Delicious. Mm. Well, it's really sweet. Not much of like a super cokey flavor, which is good. And then it like really bubbles in your mouth. It's good. I like it. Yeah. This hurts. I'm going to take this out. Nepali Coke is poppin'.